Dad's been working on the windshield wipers for us all weekend. We found out our system, the way we got it, isn't going to work exactly. So we've been trying to modify it so it works with our windshield. We've got a Miata windshield from a 92 series Miata. I think they're all the same for first gen. And this is our... Dad, could you show us this, the windshield wiper system we yes. got here? This is the motor we have for the windshield wiper. Uh, put them on this and, and it's underneath the dash. And then we had to modify these and, uh, windshield wiper turners, I guess you want to call them. Had to modify them and put on this metal form on. And then we're going to weld this underneath our rod on the dash. So those are the mounts for the windshield wiper on? Right. And then the wiper will go right on here. We have to cut this shaft off, bring it down so it's almost about like that. How does the motor hook to the, the shaft the, uh, for the wiper? Right here we have a coil. It fastens inside of the box like this. Right through there. And then the, the wheel turns around and around like this inside there, which is on this screw, which will go through these things. And it, there's a little gear in there that turns back and forth. So kind of like a, a push worm drive. Yes. Okay. And this runs through this pipe? Runs through this, this pipe okay. to the motor and form around the windshield. And, and this makes it? This makes it so we can put them, place them pretty much wherever we want to in our car. Right. Position where you need them to get the maximum wiping on your way down. We're very limited on room in the vehicle. Uh, <clears throat> as to be expected with any prototype type of vehicle, we have to include a lot of high power electronics and safety systems for them. The fuses for them are nearly as large as this water bottle. And we have to have six or so of them in the vehicle. We have to have these, we have to have breakers, we have to have switches, we have to have a whole slew of things. All this stuff is going to go under the dash. With the windshield wipers, the way they were set up, and the way our hood, our, the front of our vehicle is designed, kind of a, a cab forward, we didn't have room to put the wiper motor and the wiper arms outside of the, uh, the cab forward design, like you'd see in, in most vehicles, and then put a cover over them. They actually have to go inside, or what would be underneath the dash, so they have to be perfectly sealed. That's where these arms come in. We can make them to the length we want. There is a seal or, sorry, a sealed fitting on here. So the only hole to the outside, with the shaft goes through, we slide it through, tighten this nut down, and we've got a watertight seal, and all the mechanism runs on the inside. So that prevents any water intrusion from getting into the vehicle. 